Hello, everyone. I am the Moy Chicken. Welcome to my stream. Hello, Jimmy. Uh, how y'all doing today? It's Thursday. Thursday means streaming, and streaming means I get to ignore the plot again, because we, in the last episode of Final Fantasy VIII, we got an airship! Yay! Which means I can now go everywhere. <laughs> and I am good. I am good. I have, uh, I have had a better day today than I did yesterday. Yesterday was not a terribly fun day. Um... For no real reason. It wasn't a bad. There was nothing wrong with it. I was just sort of like grumpy. You ever get grumpy sometimes? Just have one of those days. But today I'm good. So let's get started. Blech. Ugh. Oh. Also, since last we played, um, I have done a little bit of uh, leveling up off camera. Um, it will. You'll you'll probably notice our levels are substantially higher, mostly because I've been trying to. Uh, get certain items like I wanted to be able to improve my weapons because as I've said before like it's so weird how in this game it is so difficult to improve your weapons like you're just your basic weapons like right now what, what what's everybody using yeah so squall's level 89 it's mostly just because we've been fighting these like uh, these monsters on the islands closest to heaven and hell and they're all level 100 so we've just gotten really substantial level boosts but um yeah so Irvin Irvin's actually doing pretty good of his four weapons he's using his third highest squall I was able to get I think the twin lance is, is like third or fourth weapon her she just still has her second weapon um he has his second weapon she has her fifth weapon I think and she has her third weapon but I'm like I'm, I'm near the end of the game and like my weapons are nowhere anywhere good it's just it, it seems it, it makes me wonder if i missed something you know anyway so today we are going to be doing side quests uh because we have the we have the ragnarok now we can go wherever we want where did i park it uh where is it okay there it is <laughs> and uh yeah i've got i've got a couple things in mind and if i finish those we'll just do whatever um but the first thing I want to do is, you might recall, once in the past we found an island with a green thing on it. I am still curious what the green thing is. So let us go and check that out. Away! It was on the Centra continent. That is where we must go next. <sighs> but yeah, today's been a pretty good day for me. I didn't get any exercise today, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, I'm trying to get myself in the habit of doing exercise every... Like, at least... Every day or clip. What the heck is that? Hang on. What? Are, what is this? What is this? P put that on hold. What is this? What is this? It's it's a demi spot. It's like blue though. What the heck is this? Uh. <laughs> completely stop me. The Centra crater. Are there more of these? Go around a little bit. There's a forest here. That's not helpful. Oh, hey, my 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 CD rank went up for some reason. <laughs> Apparently, I'm supposed to be in the center. Oh, that's right. I am supposed to be in the center crater. I'm supposed to be going to Idia's house. But we're not doing that today. I don't know what that is. I don't see any more of them. There's just this weird blue indention here. Very strange. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. Let's move on. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get the habit. Oh, fertile X Rayo. Oh, okay. Well, let's just go ahead and get rid of this. I don't need that. Thank you for your time, fertile X Rayo. But I'm okay. Thank you. Actually, I was talking to another content creator earlier today, and they were talking about how um, they're concerned that their their channel might have been botted because um. They were, like, randomly texted, like, a, a friend request on, um, on Discord. And they didn't, he didn't accept the friend request, but he did respond. And immediately afterward, he started getting all of these, like, follow notifications from things that did not sound like real people. He was like, oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so this is the island. Let's land. Let's see what's going on here. So this is Cactuar Island. Oh, we fought. What's this? There's the thing. I'm fighting something. 
Oh, <laughs> it's got a mustache. What the heck? It's huge. Oh, it's huge. Uh, are they all this big? He's so big. He is quite a big boy. I love his his animation, Jumbo Cactuar. Some Cactuars live long lives and grow huge. This Jumbo Cactuar is one of those. I love his mustache. What is it weak against water? I think is what that is. Is he gonna run away if I'm not careful? Um, Alexander. Oh, actually, hang on. Can we? No, we can't escape. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, because she has Leviathan. She has the water monster. Um. Aha! I have made you a different color now. So, I don't know if I've actually used it or not in this playthrough. Meltdown is a spell that will... It either dramatically reduces an opponent's defense, or it completely nullifies their defense. But whatever it is, it's bad for their defense. And so, that should make him more vulnerable to physical attacks. Good. Although, the fact that we don't have Leviathan is bad. Ooh. I have more tea. I'm drinking it out of my tea authorized, my only authorized for tea mug. Very important. Alright, well... I really wish I'd known I was going to bump him into him immediately. I would have tried to fix my situation a little bit. He's really not doing very much. He's mostly just kind of hanging out. Counter rockets! <laughs> Cactus! Exclamation point! Like, cool! Tornado do damage in this game? It does do damage. Uh, relatively... Oh, 10,000 needles. <laughs> He's very silly looking. Oh, it does 10,000 damage. Uh-oh. Okay, well, now we know. Uh, I have full life, don't I? Yeah. So I guess maybe that's his only attack, is to, to use 10,000 needles. Let me see how much damage just casting water on him does. If it does a good amount of if it does a good amount of damage, this might be fine. Um, if it doesn't, we might have dropped it. This is such a weird wind spell, you know? Like, I think, I think maybe Square Enix has had difficulty representing like wind magic attacks in video games um, for many years. And uh, I think that's a pretty good indication that they're like, what do we do with this? Oh, that did fine. And you cast it again. Yeah, so Squall can do, like, consistently about 6,000, 7,000 damage on his turn. So we might be okay. That's probably about what we get with Leviathan, anyway. Unfortunately, I'm not junctioned with it, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Plus, it's much faster than using a summon. That's one of the things that I used to criticize about this game is that what? oh jeez I just dropped the controller um is that uh it um because so much of the damage in the game comes from uh what do you call them um summons you would have to kind of like wait for a lot um. Single, was full life, full 
want to talk to Lurk. Irvin. Yeah, like, it, there, there was, like, a lot of time spent waiting through, like, long animations. And they actually kind of took that into account with Final Fantasy IX. Um, in FF9, they have, um... They have, like, shortened animations that you can, you can choose to turn on, where it just kind of, like, skips to the end of the summon. So there's still a little bit of an effect, but it's, like, shortened. Um, and that's a pretty reasonable way to do it. But of course, in this game, they wanted you to be able to see the whole summons so that you could, like, boost it. Which makes sense to me. At least they gave you something to do. But yeah, my characters are kind of quite a bit stronger at this point. I'm actually a little worried that I may have over-leveled them. Not really sure. Um, you know, but... I'm one of those kind of people that does that in Final Fantasy games. Like, I will usually spend some time near the very end and just kind of, like, power level my characters before I go to the final dungeon. As a result, most Final Fantasies, I, I tend to assume that the final boss is, like, really weak. But that's not the case, usually. Like... There was one time in, um, in, in like, high school, I think, um, where I, um, a friend of mine, I had talked about, like, how I was really familiar with Final Fantasy 3 slash 6 for, for the Super Nintendo, and so he's like, hey, I, my, my cousin gave me, or loaned me that, a copy of that game, and I can't beat it, uh, can you, do you think you could try to beat the game for me? And I was thinking, like, oh yeah, sure, I've beaten that game tons of times, this will be no problem. Well, what I didn't realize is that he hadn't leveled up like I had. And so, like, the final boss was like, oh, this is hard. <laughs> I'm not used to this game being difficult at the end. Um, so, like, and, th and this game is another example of that, where, like, usually before I finish the game, I'll probably get my characters to, like, the level, like, level 80 or above. And um, with, like, really powerful spells, so kind of a kind of, uh, skews the, uh, information a bit. But whatever, it's fine. Honestly, I think the reason for that is that I always want to, um, I always want the good guys to win. Like, I feel really bad when I lose a boss fight because, like, I feel like I've let the characters down. It's like, oh, if I was only better at playing, um, we wouldn't have lost. And, uh, I don't like that. I don't like when that happens. And so, uh, yeah, I usually spend some time making sure I'm strong enough. Ten thousand needles! Kerplunk? <laughs> he just fell over? This guy is amazing. He's so good. I love this boss fight, it's so funny. Alright, hang on. I got a reviver. Oh life, Quistus. I got <laughs> He just falls over. Kerplunk. Now one thing that is unfortunate, so I'll go ahead and say that I know that we get a summon for beating this guy. That's the other reason I wanted to do this immediately. Is that I wanted to be able to get the summon as soon as I could. Um You don't get jumbo cactuar though, unfortunately. You get regular cactuar. Just like you don't get the Tonberry King, you just get a Tonberry. It would be cool if there was like a, a small percent chance that when you summoned it, it would turn out as like a different summon. Because in uh, in Final Fantasy 2 slash 4 for the SNES, um, you, there was a uh, there was a Chocobo summon, and usually when you summoned it, it would summon a Chocobo to show up and like kick the enemy. But every once in a while, it would summon the uh, the fat chocobo who would just like bounce around on the screen, and it was always so exciting when that happened. You're like, oh, it's the fat chocobo, yay! And I don't, I don't really think it did that much more damage. I think it was a multi-target attack, whereas the chocobo was like a single-target attack. But even still, it was just cool to see. So I kind of wish they had done that with this game, but I guess that would have required them to make like additional summon animations or whatever. So. I wonder how we're doing in terms of this fight. 
I mean, I don't feel particularly threatened, I'll admit. Um... I feel as though I remember there's something where, like, when this guy gets low on health, he has a chance to, like, run away, maybe? I don't remember if that's the place or not, but I, that, that's in my head somewhere. That, like, when when he gets low on health, you get a message that, that says something like, the Jumbo Cactuar is, is looking like he wants to escape or something. Ooh, nice! I guess that's what happens when you get a critical hit. He spins around. Very silly. That mustache, though, is so funny. Look at it. He's got an amazing mustache. It could only be better if he had, like, a hat. Like a, like a sombrero or, like, a cowboy hat. That would complete the look, I think. Hey, Jimmy. Are you having a good Thursday? Anything cool happening for you? Oh, I do something I wanted to tell you. Um, I found I was looking at my uh, my game collection the other day, and I realized I actually do have Gran Turismo 4 for the PS2. So I am going to check it out at some point. I don't know if it'll be on stream, but I am going to check it out because I was like, oh, my buddy Jimmy says that this is a good one. So. Oh no. oh no! Neither one of them has. Oh uh, no! Neither one of them has any means to revive him. Ah, fudge. That's unfortunate. I was really ill prepared for this fight. Honestly, it's almost not worth um, healing yourself since he can 10,000 needles insta-kill you at any time. Yeah, you know what? Just mad rush. It's fine. Just get as much damage in as you can. It's in God's hands now. Can Irvin pull it out? Go, Irvin! You can win! That's no small amount of damage he's doing. Go, Irvin! Go, Irvin! Jeez, dude. <laughs> Come on! Keep going! Ah, nope, there we go. Dead. Dead. Alright, well, we were ill-prepared for that. Now we get to see the game over screen with a broken gun blade and a feather. Go, Irvin, for California! <laughs> Hey, Rigger. Welcome. You got here just in time to watch me die. Ooh. Continue. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I was poorly prepared for that fight. Let's see. Let's switch this around. Irvin. Um, that rush was doing pretty well, honestly. But we can't, we can't do it. It'll, it'll be a mess if I do that. And no, not that. Yep. And magic. Yeah. All right, that should improve our our odds a little bit. Oh. Yes, welcome, Rougarou. We're doing side quests tonight. Yay! Yay, because we got this cool 
spaceship thing. It's really cool looking. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like all of the airships in, like, previous games that were, like, blimps. This thing's amazing looking. It, it, it looks completely out of place for, like, a Final Fantasy game, though. It's like, ah, oh, you're in the cyber spaceship. It looks like something that should be in, like, a shooter game, like Ikaruga or something. It does not look like a Final Fantasy thing. Very fancy looking. All right, there he is. The Jumbo Kakutuar. Land. All right, this. Save before we fight. On Kakutuar Island. The island of the Kakutuar. Yep. All right. Mr. Cactus. Mr. Cactus. There he is. Fight me! Leviathan. <laughs> this bottle gets all stretched weird. Bang. Uh, Asking Jimmy this minute ago, Ruger, but um, I'll say it to you too. How was your day going? Are you having a good day? I've had a decent birthday. I am currently in the process of um, reprinting a. Uh, Uh, we're reprinting some of the parts from that uh, robot model I'm working on um, because I finished up the inter internal parts. And while they came out looking fine, they're way too big. Like, the upper body is too heavy for the lower body. So I need to, like, get... I need to, like, shrink it down so it makes more sense. So that is what I'm currently doing. Hopefully by tomorrow, we'll have something cool. We'll see. We'll now proceed to continuously douse this man. Prepare yourself for the dousing! Wow. That's not that great. Honestly, Irvin might do better. Thank you. Looking forward to the weekend. Are you doing anything cool on the weekend? I was thinking of um going up to a uh, the arcade that live, that's like up to the north of where I live. Um, there's like a video game shop and an arcade up there. And I haven't been in a while. I'm thinking of doing that might be kind of fun. That's all I really got planned. Let's see. Do I have preserve? No, I don't. Okay. I was gonna say, like, Urban did better just, um, constantly attacking, really. Oh, please. Ten thousand needles! I'm gonna try and work on this project some, but it's a lot of sewing and takes forever. Ooh, what's the project? What are you doing? Sounds interesting. Hey, hot dog! Welcome! Enjoy this weird cactus. Love that. Yeah, he's amazing. Look at him dance. Look at him prance. He's going. I was actually working on a uh, 
uh, sewing project earlier too. I was I was working more on that. Um, I think I told y'all about this. Thing, like a leather shoulder piece. Um, I've got I've got the actual part thing together now, but I um I need to make the parts that actually attach it to something. Like what I was gonna do is I was gonna have a a loop that um uh allows you to attach it to. Oh fudge! I didn't mean to cast it on her. Is that gonna help? No! I messed it up. Oh, I messed it up. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, I was gonna make a loop that attaches it to, like, the, uh, the shoulder part of another piece of armor I have. Um, so, like, the strap that holds it in place. But then what I didn't realize is that the strap on the thing I was going to attach it to is too big for the new shoulder plate it, I'm, I'm not explaining it very well but suffice it to say it won't work <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm in a bit of a pickle in regards to that but we'll figure it out scroll has the 9999 hp actually uh, an interesting thing about this particular fight um this might seem quaint now but uh when this game came out one of the things that was really exciting about it was that there is a very limited subset of attacks that could do more than 9,999 damage, which prior to this game was like always the high part point. Like you could only ever do that much. And um, one of which is like the 10,000 needles attack where it actually does 10,000 damage. Um, so, like, the first time I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, a fifth digit! Ooh! These are the kind of things you got excited about in the 90s. Like, oh, a fifth digit! Because, again, you couldn't do that in the previous games. There are only a few other things that do it. There's um, a summon we can get later that can do 99 or over 9,999 damage, over 9,999 damage. Um, and then there's also a, uh, a, an ability that Quistus can learn, like one of her limit breaks can do it. Um, this is a very boring fight, by the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's mostly just me using water over and over again. It's the most effective thing I can do. Um, And then I think that there's one boss that can do it as well. Um, but suffice it to say, it's not very common, and so it's very exciting when you get to see over 9,000 damage. And then this guy came out and blew that out of the water. <laughs> this guy's whole selling point was really big numbers. I mean, back when it came out, it was amazing. You know what I'm talking about. Um, again, I guess I'll just talk about this while we're casting water over and over again. Um, in the PS2 game Disgaea, um, one of the main selling points of that game was the fact that they allowed you to um, boost your stats almost indefinitely. Um, so, like, you could have, like, stat values in, like, the millions. So you can have, like, an attack power of 5 million or something. And it would calculate damage during battle using that as, like, a base multiplier. Um, so you could get some pretty stupidly high amounts of damage that you could do. Uh, admittedly, it wasn't easy to do that, but you could do it. I, I had a friend who figured out how to do, like, ridiculously high damage to certain monsters. Um... And to keep up with that, uh, Nipponichi also made a point of having certain monsters that required that sort of level of damage to beat them. Uh, so it's a game that actually had, like, monsters with, like, 100 million HP and stuff. You know, like, ridiculous numbers and stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure if that would be a good game for a stream. I've talked about it before. Like, it's a very grindy game. If I were to play it, 
probably what we'd wind up doing is I would do like the, the plot parts and then like take a week or so off so I could level up and then do more plot and like just keep going like that so y'all don't have to watch me doing the, the leveling up because it's very tedious. It's interesting. Like I'd probably do at least like I'd do like one stream of it so you could see what it's like and then I'd just kind of like let it go. Um, Again, I guess I'll just explain, because we got nothing better to do right now. Um, the way it works is most of your strength in the game comes from your equipment. There's a lot of sleep. And uh, the way you make your equipment stronger is you, like, there's this thing called the item world, which is sort of like a randomly generated dungeon that supposedly exists in every item. So no matter what the item is, you can dive into its item world. And in the item world, as you complete like levels in the item world, the stats of that item grow proportionally stronger. In addition to that, um, as you uh, as you, you, you complete the uh, as you complete the item world, sometimes you might bump into these things called uh, uh, specialists that will boost a single stat and you can combine specialists so the way the, the sort of the the methodology is you go into the item world boost the strength of something find all of the um specialists and then combine them together and repeat with a new item and you just keep doing that over and over again getting, like, stronger and stronger special, like, fused specialists until you have, like, a super powerful one and then you put it on the weapon you actually want to use and get, destroy everything. It's, uh... It's slow and tedious and methodical, but it does work. And I would want to show you at least one item world so you know what it's like, but... I think that probably the only reason that I, I managed to beat this guy up the first time I played it, I think I mentioned this before, it's very tragic, um, was that I was so incredibly lonely during my first, the summer after my first year of undergraduate college. I had no friends, nearby at least. Um, I had no girlfriend. Uh, my girlfriend broke up with me in that first year. Um, and I was just sort of like, I have nothing to do except sit at home and play Disgaea. And so I just, that summer, I just, anytime I wasn't working, I was at home playing Disgaea, just leveling up. And, uh, yeah. Funny thing is, if you got nothing better to do and you just spend your days leveling up, you get pretty strong. But even still, though, even with all that terrible loneliness... Um, it still wasn't enough to get those, like, million, million point, uh, strength value. And as the series went on, I think they're up to this guy is seven now. Um, they kept adding more and more ways to, like, grind. And, like, ostensibly the point was to make it easier to get to those really high numbers, but, like... To me, I just kind of lost interest, you know? Like, each game, each game's system is very similar to the previous game system, to the point where I'm sort of like, hey, there, I've done it once before, I don't want to do it again. Which is a bit of a shame, because the games are actually kind of fun. Like, the, sto the, the other kind of big selling point for the Disgaea series is the setting and writing. Like, they always try to make really quirky characters and, like, weird storylines. Like, for example, the first the first game storyline follows, um... Again, hopefully at some point this battle will end. I have no idea how much HP this thing has. I'm just gonna keep doing this, because it's working. Um... Yeah, the first storyline follows, um... A young demon named Laharl, who is the son of the previous overlord of the netherworld. Um, and he is awakened from a nap 
violently um, to find that uh, his father, while he was sleeping, has died. Um, his father choked on a pretzel and died. <laughs> and so now he's like, oh, I guess I'm the king of the underworld now. And so the rest of the game is sort of about him becoming the new king of the netherworld, like all the struggles that involved in that. And it's funny. I mean, they, they clearly wanted it to be humorous. They're very funny games. Um, but again, they're all kind of like the same sense of humor, the same general vibe, and I think that's... I would say, at least for me, the series is kind of stagnant. They, they kind of do the same things over and over again. At least the ones that I've played. I played one, two, three, and five. Um, so I guess only that. I was really disappointed in three. Three super turned me off. Five was pretty good. Five kind of was like, oh, well, this is this is nice. Three was terrible. I hated three. And you know why I hated three? I hated this guy at three because it did the school setting thing. Like, if you're at all familiar with, like, popular Japanese media, you probably have seen plenty of plenty of stories specifically set in, like, a school. And I think that's a cultural thing where, like, they put more emphasis on school life than do Americans. Um, at least that's the impression I get. Um... Uh, but like it's just such a overdone concept like I've seen so many games and so many anime and so many stories that are set in schools and I just don't care <laughs> just don't care at this point I'm like please don't show me another school story I don't care it's the tropiest of tropes. Please don't force this on me. So. That's me. I don't know. I get tired of it. Well, we are still fighting this thing. Still fighting him. Still going. Ah, uh, Kerplunk! I feel like I should put some sort of annotation <laughs> for this so that people can skip past this fight. 40 minutes? Oh no, really? I didn't realize this. Oh no, this battle's been going on for a long time. Uh, I wanted to save this for the stream, but I didn't think it was going to be a 40 minute battle. Well, you know, just, just chill out and listen, I guess. Uh, hopefully, hopefully my talking about random other things is at least moderately entertaining. Get ready for the fast ammo. Quick shot. That worked pretty well. At least I'm not summoning Leviathan over and over again. That's the other thing I could be doing. Believe it or not, water is actually... Water, casting water three times is faster than Leviathan. Yeah, okay. That means it's about to run away, I think. Um, which is unfortunate. I don't want that to happen. But hopefully... This will kill it. <laughs> Come on, fall over or whatever. Uh, 
No, don't don't do that. Ugh. Okay, it's dead. Yay! Fall over! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yay! Oh boy, we did it! <laughs> that took forever. Didn't get anything for it. Did get Guy's Ring, though. Oh, good. And we got Cactuar, which I will name Cactrot because I like that name better. Cactrot is what these monsters were called in uh, FF3. I like it better. Cactrot! Yay! Alright, save. Again, I am sorry that that took 40 minutes. <laughs> Really thought that would go faster than that, but whatever. We got a new, we got a new summon. That's great. Um, and Carbuncle learned something, yeah. Not bad. Sure. All right, Cactrot, yay! Um, oh, dude, that's why Cactrot's good. Right, he has all of the uh the level up bonuses by default oh that's so good it's so good yeah okay um that's great i'm going to give that to squall well squall's dead i'm going to revive squall and then i will give it to him all right squall you can take you can take extra there you go you worked hard for it you cast water over and over and over again and so you get cactron congratulations um, I want the swing bone. Yeah. For all that, he's... One of the downsides to... It's okay. Well, thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Hopefully it was entertaining to listen to. Um, uh, one of the downsides to Squall is that since you can never take him out of your party, he's always much higher level than everyone else. And you're unlikely to have gotten the stat boosting abilities for him early on. So, like... If you were to level everyone else up with the stat boosting stuff, he would wind up as your weakest character at the end of the game, which is a little sad. Um, all right, so our next thing I want to do, um, I want to go back to Obel Lake. Y'all remember Obel Lake? Back over there by Timber? Uh, let's go back over there and see if we can't do some more side quests. Yeah, more side quests, yes. Yes. All right. Mm, yes. Yes. Mm, more side quests. Several in favor. All right. There's other lake. Land. Talk to the mysterious shadow of Obel Lake. Mysterious Shadow. Oh, don't fight me. Guys, don't fight me. Come on. Come on. None of this. None of this, Thrust Avis. Get out of it, Thrust Avis. Yo. Just that bump. I love the way that enemy dies. It's like, oh! It's like it, it floats up a little bit as though it just realizes, it's like, oh, I'm dead. Just kind of flops on the ground. Very silly. <laughs> also, I want to change my uh, abilities again. Junction, Christos, I want you to have uh, the cover. Cover. Cool. Alright. Hello, friend. Try humming. Hello! Humming on top of a mountain with a lake and a cavern. Okay. Let's go look for that. Uh, we can fly around and look for a lake and a cavern. Oh, I got, I got a, uh, I got a raise for talking to that guy. Great. Okay. A mountain with a lake and a cavern. See some mountains, but I don't see a lake or a cavern. There's a waterfall. 
It's not really a lake, but it's a waterfall. Let me check that out, I guess. Can I get to that? Mm. Oh! A bird is warming an egg. Check it out. Oh, it's fighting me. The bird's fighting me. Oh. More thrust avises. This isn't going to be a problem. Hey, guys. Prepare to die. Bomp. Oh, missed. Nice. Nice dodge. Dead. No. Mm. All right, well, I guess I'm going to steal their egg now. That's cool. Found a piece of rock there. Oh, these! I remember these! Yeah, yeah, okay, hang on. Hang on, we, we, um... A while back, we were taking notes on this. Let's see, um... Okay, I'm gonna write it down, so it's E-A-S-N-P-B. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I guess maybe we're looking for rocks. Got it. Okay, so... Was this the lake in the cavern? Was that the lake in the cavern? It didn't really feel like it, right? It felt like it was a waterfall, not a lake in a cavern. I'm gonna look around some more. Um, over here. Lake in a cavern. Alright, let's go. Let's go to Travia. Look over there. Eee, side quests. I love side quests. They're super fun. <laughs> We also need to try and finish all the Chocobo stuff now that we've got um, the ability to fly, because I believe that there's one Chocobo forest that you needed the rack. Ooh! Oh, here's a, here's a lake. Here's a lake. I, kind of. Are you a lake? What are you? What is this? What is this? Mountain by the lake. Is this a lake? I mean, there's there's something here, but what do I do with it? What's the point of it? Oh, it's a forbidden. Okay, you see that skeleton dude? I was looking. Oh no! Odin. Uh, I need that skeleton dude. I, um, I was looking for an enemy that I could draw death magic from. And I think the Forbiddens are some of the only monsters that have it by default. Ugh, friggin' Odin shows up out of nowhere and ruins everything. He's like, you're welcome, citizen. He's like, no, I didn't want you to kill that skeleton. I needed to talk to him. Ooh, curse spikes are good, though. Okay, well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Is this just nothing? It's so suspicious looking though, isn't it? Look at it. It's like, it's like a, can I land on it maybe? Can I land on it? Can I land on it? Land, land, land. Nope, I can't do anything with it. That's something that, oh, there's another one over here. Okay. Maybe maybe it's not that big a deal. Maybe it's just a icy lake or something. I thought it, I thought that was the only one. I was gonna say that's one of the things that I liked about world maps in old video games um, was when you would find stuff like that that like felt important. And like back in the day when we didn't really have the internet to look things up, that's where secrets came from. That's where rumors came from, and they were so much fun. Like I was watching a. Uh, watching a YouTube video the other day about um, the hidden characters in Mortal Kombat and how 
back when those games came out, you couldn't, couldn't really look stuff up. And so the only way you'd ever figure out, like, how to get to Reptile or whatever is by just playing the game and, like, talking to your friends about it. That's so cool! Um, and nowadays we have, like, you know, game decompilers and we have, um, you know, the internet and, like, all these people who are willing to, like, take games apart and find out all the secrets. And it's just kind of, like, not as fun. <laughs> it's not as fun for there to be secrets in games nowadays. Yeah. I don't know, old man shakes his cane at, cane at cloud or whatever, but... I liked when secrets were secret, and you had to, like, figure them out. But the internet has brought us many other things that are good, so I can't complain too much. I am really not finding a lake or a cavern anywhere. I thought it would be in Trabia, you know? Because it feels like there's a lot of, like, empty space in Trabia. Here's the Grand Didi Forest. You see that? That's a Chocobo Forest. We want to get there eventually. Hopefully today. The Grand Didi Forest is also important because it is where, um... The Marlboro Outbreak was. It is not a lake or a cavern. Oh, no, I have not found any lake or cavern. Could it have been that waterfall? It wasn't really a lake, but it was a cavern, I guess. There, there's a something. Hang on, what's that? What's that? What's that? There's a, there's a something there. Let me go check it out. Oh, hey, Gala. How you doing? Good day for death. Oh no! People dies. People dies. Bang. He's freaking out over there. Quite the death row. He's just like, oh, 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 I'm dead. It's crossed level 90. The heck, man, he's gonna be level 100 soon. That's another thing that they get did in this game, which is kind of like frustrating. So in this game, you the max level is 100, as compared to most Final Fantasy games, where the max level is 99. Now, this doesn't seem like it should be a big deal. But there's a very common... <laughs> we have to summon Odin to kill this mosquito. <laughs> He's like, don't worry, citizen. I will defeat this, the terrible monster. Um, yeah, there's a fairly common uh, spell in Final Fantasy games called Level 5 Death. Which does what it sounds like. If you're level 5, it, it does a 100% chance... Um, instantly killing you. Well, in most Final Fantasy games, once you reach level 99, you really don't have to worry about it too much. The more dangerous th thing in most Final Fantasy games is anything associated with level 3. But in this game, once you reach level 100, you can't change that. You're stuck at level 100, which means you are forever susceptible to level 5 death. It's not clever. Kind of wish they hadn't done that, but... And I don't even know why. Like, what's the point of getting us to level 100? It's not really that different from level 99. But that's how the game's made. Right, what is this? Oh! I know where this is. This is where, um... This is where uh, Laguna was, was in that film. Is there anything here? It's kind of cool to be here, but... Oh no! It's a goat! Of course it is! <laughs> Don't worry, citizen! I will protect you from this goat! Thanks, Odin! Always there! What a bro! 
He's like, let's go, Sleipnir. We must destroy this goat. Oh. Okay, here's the question. Sleipnir. Odin's horse from Norse mythology. For a long time, I thought it was a six-legged horse. But I feel like within recent years, I've heard it as an eight-legged horse. How many legs does Odin's horse have? I don't know. I thought it was six. It's almost always six in a Final Fantasy game, which is probably why I thought it was six. Oh no! Goats and mosquitoes! I half expected him to show up. I really did. Fear not, citizen! I will protect you from the goats and mosquitoes! Thanks, Odin! We wouldn't be able to do it on our own, Odin. We need you here to protect us from the minor enemies. kind of cool to be here and like see it but yeah there's nothing it's just a just a narrow passageway it's kind of interesting whatever <laughs> now we have to go back i'll put on a encounter none so we don't have to worry about any goats or mosquitoes Welcome to the side quest stream. I am once again wasting time in Final Fantasy VIII. Hooray! You missed out on the 40-minute battle against a cactus. So, good job. It's clever to be late to that one. Ooh. This is like one of the best songs in the soundtrack. This, this song is so good. Yeah, it took forever. Admittedly, I did have to do it twice, so probably more like 15 minutes and then 30 minutes, but... Currently, we are trying to do some Obel Lake stuff. Uh, we are looking for a mountain with a lake and a cavern on it. So far, I've had very little success. Is that a lake? That's not a lake. That's a salt flat. That's not a lake. Oh, y'all want to see something that's really easy to miss? Do you remember Piet? That... How our toy? <laughs> You're Piet, the... the, the like the researcher who escaped from um, from the lunar base with us. You ever wonder what happened to him? Well, good news. Somewhere around here. Where is he? There's old Piet. Oh, uh, where is he? There's no indication of him on the map. You just have to kind of, like, find him. Where am I now? The Abaddon Plains. Where is he? Piet, where are you? I know you're out here somewhere. I thought he was up on top of the hill, but I guess not. Where is he? He's down here somewhere. Is he on the mainland? Maybe he's on the mainland. I just know that he doesn't show up on the map, but he is somewhere down here. Oh, hey, there's the... There's the lunatic Pandora. There's the plot. Let's not pay attention to that for right now. 
Um, where is he? He's down here somewhere. I'm gonna find him now. Piet, where are you? Piet. Where is he? Piet. 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 Pete. That's your name? Is your name just Pete? He was like, we kept thinking he was French, but now his name's just Pete. It's short for Peter. No, oh, I thought he was around here somewhere. Who the heck is that guy? Um, um, oh, gone. I was gonna be all cool and like just find it immediately, but I can't find him anywhere. Uh, nuts. Well, Piet's somewhere around here. <laughs> if you ever need to find him again, he's around here somewhere. If I remember correctly, the the only reason to fight or to find him is that um, if you missed some of the cards on the lunar base, you can play cards with him, and he will have those cards. I think is the idea. There's plenty somewhere around here. Maybe this little island. There's a little island here. Let's let's end on this island. What is this? Wait, where, where are my notes? Hang on, hang on. <gasps> Look for Mind Island. This is Mind Island. Do you guys, uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, so uh, here are our notes from way back when. So we got, the, we got the, 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 the rocks with the words on them. And then we got the, tr the, the tree. It, it was like, take time off at the peninsula and it says like treasure at mind isle and this place is called mind island oh there might be treasure here i like that okay treasure 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 give me treasure i want oh oh i found a thing <laughs> i found a luck junction scroll dude that's great i can teach that to somebody Luck Junction's one you can't buy, I think. I think it is. That's awesome. Oh. Okay, who 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 has Luck Junction? Let's see. I think the only people that have Luck Junction are like Cactuar and um Tonberry. Yeah, so far, nobody has Luck Junction. I'm glad I kept looking for, a uh, for Piet. <laughs> That's good. Glad that happened. Okay, yeah, he's got Luck Junction. He's the only one. So Cact Cactuar is the only one that has Luck Junction. Awesome. Well, I'm going to teach it to somebody. Um... So, Squall right now has Cactrot, so he doesn't need it. Um, I could teach it to Cerberus. He has a lot of stuff. Um, sure, you know what, Cerberus? You get to learn Luck Junction. Aren't you lucky? Wait, who are you equipped to? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Who are you equipped to? You're equipped to Skull. Okay, no, never mind. You don't get to learn anything. Never mind. Pandemona. You get to learn a thing. Congratulations. You get Luck Junction. <laughs> uh, luck Junction. Yeah. Pandemonium. Nice. Well, that's great. Well, we still haven't found Piet, though. Where the heck is he? Where is he? He's somewhere. <laughs> I know he's somewhere around here. I mean, I gotta look it up. Hang on. Where's my freaking thing? Oh, sorry. Get the thing. Uh, where is Piet? Where is Piet? Oh, here we go. Um, let's 
Says he's in the Abadan Plains. Okay, well, I did have the right place at least. I'm glad we found Mind Island. That's awesome. Yay, side quest. <laughs> Yay, side quest. <laughs> the most exciting part of any video game. Wasting time at the end. Yay. <laughs> I remember um during one episode of uh, Game Grumps, they were talking about um uh they were talking about um just life in general, I think at the time. And um, Dan mentioned that he felt like he had finished with the main quest of life, and now he just got to enjoy side quests for the rest of the game. Which I thought was kind of a fun way to say that. Aha! I found it! Yeah, there he is! Hey, Piet! What you doing here, man? <laughs> I, I lost my job. Yeah? Hey, how about you? What should we do from now on? I lost my job. Do you want to play some cards? I'm not actually French. I just think doing a terrible accent is fun. Oh. Yeah? Actually, no, I don't want to play cards. <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to play cards. Forget you, Piet. Wait a minute. Quistus escaped from there. Did they? Did she just like leave him behind? Like when they landed, she's like, "Well, gotta go. See you later." And just kind of like left him there. Jeez, Quistus, that's cold. All right, back to looking for a. Back to looking for a lake and a cavern. Lake and a cavern. Lake and a cavern. <laughs> I don't guess anybody remembers which Chocobo Forest we've done, huh? do you? I know we did a lot of them, but I don't remember if we finished them. Like, I don't remember exactly which ones we did. Man, we found nothing. Could that waterfall really have been? We that wasn't a lake, though. It was a waterfall I guess I could go talk to him. oh there's that weird thing again the weird blue stuff mm. I'll be honest I thought I was gonna find it faster than this oh we well, probably haven't done this one let's do a chocobo for us that's fun, right? Let me land. What? Here we go. Yeah, Chocoboco. Let's do it. Did I do this one already? A hint. Oh, I did do this one. I did do this one. Never mind. See you later. That was the one where there's like only one chocobo there, and um, it's really hard to find. I already did this one. Okay, never mind. Away, go. Activate. Back to searching for a mountain with a lake and a cavern. Mountain with a lake. Like, the cavern part sounds like it's somewhere I would go, you know, like a dungeon. But I don't remember any dungeon like that. I don't remember any dungeon like that. Flying around, blah, 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 I am fly around now I guess we could go back and talk to him again I mean maybe that was it but 
seems improbable. It wasn't a it wasn't a lake. It was a waterfall. And I don't think it was like a bad translation or anything. I'm all pouty now. I want to figure this out. Lake and cavern. Mountain with a lake and a cavern. I feel like if it was going to be anywhere, it would be one of these like flat top mountains, like, uh, these plateaus, rather than. There's the destroyed um, missile base. This is very exciting. It is the best content. Da 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 da. I want to find it. I want to find a lake and a cavern, in the same place. I mean, I guess, I guess you could call a water, could you call a waterfall a lake? It's not though, right? I don't know. Well, we're back at Oboe Lake. I guess I'll talk to him again. I'm grumpy about that. Anyway. Hey, man. Try humming. Hello. Takes some time. Okay, this is this is the that's the mind island. We did that one already. Already did that one. Yep, it's good. What else you got? Give me more. Dude's right in the rock. S T S L R M. Okay, got that one. Reader. Eastbound. Oh yeah, we never did get Mr. Monkey. I already did that. Ah, uh, come on. Something else. Something else. Oh, come on, guy. Uh. Take a break. Yeah, I already did that one. What else you got? More, please. No. Uh. He's not going to help out. Let's go try and harass Mr. Monkey for a little bit. See if he will give us anything. If he doesn't do that, I've got more side quests we can do. We can stop this nonsense. I just, I want, I thought I'd be able to figure it out. Like, I wanted to do all the, I wanted to do all the Obel Lake stuff, because I think it's fun, but, I don't know. I remembered it being easier than this. All right, so this is where Mr. Monkey is. So now we're going to give Mr. Monkey a hard time, which is fun. Here we go. Mr. Monkey! Mr. Monkey! I think you're supposed to throw rocks at him. Mr. Monkey! Mr. Monkey! The point is that, like, you're supposed to provoke him to throw a rock back at you, and that rock he throws back at you has writing on it. Why does this monkey speak English? Like, the monkey, you know, complains about our singing in English, and we're not, we don't question it. <laughs> Sing. Sing. You are not being helpful, Mr. Monkey. Oh, 
What am I doing wrong here? Hang on. Strategy guide. Oh, this is the most thrilling of all streams. <laughs> Again, thank y'all for putting up with this. I, I really enjoyed side quests and stuff, so. Um, what's going on here? But like here we go. Um, according to this, it is the waterfall. Man, that's disappointing. They should have put. They should have said, "Look at the top of a waterfall, not a lake in a cavern." That's stupid. Um. Stand it over the lake and throw rocks until the rock skipped many, many times. Oh, is it because I'm not a good shot? Hang on, maybe that's the idea. Do y'all remember we could uh, skip rocks at Obo Lake? I thought the only purpose to that was to make the mysterious creature show up. But according to that, you have, according to the strategy guy I just looked at, you have to do it so that you can throw a rock very well. Um, so that you can hit Mr. Monkey. So let's roll a rock. Rock sack. Roll a rock. Gotta wait till it skips many, many times, is what it says. Nope. Rock sack. Don't ever skip rocks. I've never been good at it. I think it's a cool thing. Like I, I think the idea of skipping rocks is kind of a, a neat human experience, I suppose. Um, five times. Ah, it's close. I need many, many times is what it has to say. But I, I was never able to get the, the hang of it. No. Come on. No. Sank. No. Uh. Uh. Sank. Five is close. Five is close. I am a CD. Watch as I sit on the edge of a, a lake and throw rocks over and over again. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now I go over and talk to Mr. Monkey. Or rather, I throw rocks at Mr. Monkey. A good time. Here we go. Animal abuse. Go! Land. All right, Mr. Monkey. I have trained at the lake. Yeah! Nice! You're a hoe. S T S L R M. Reader. Okay, hang on. I gotta, gotta write this down. Um, U R H A E O. Okay. All right. So let's try and figure this out. Um. I will switch my screen. Um, so I think y'all can see. Um, so this is what we got. These are it's the information. So before, the hint was to ta to remove something. So maybe that's what we've got here again. Oh, I see treasure. T. 
Wait, T R E A. If I if I let's see if I remove this, take that out, do like that. This does say treasure. T R E A S U R E. Um there's has, so has treasure. Um S N I A L T planes. Okay, hang on, let me write it out. Um I love this kind of stuff. Let's see. So M O R D R E D and then planes has treasure. Okay. So it's another thing like Mind Island. We have to find Mordred planes. Got it. Okay, cool. Yay! <laughs> It's fun. It's fun. I like side quests. And Dalit has berry planes. All right, cool. Um, so now we got to find Mordred planes, which I have no idea what that is. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, well, we don't know where Mordred planes is. That's kind of out. Um, what should I do next? Oh, I know! I know what we can do next. Let's go and fight the Dragon King. Uh, let me land first. We save first, and then we will go and meet Bahamut. Bahamut. Be very scary. I hope I can beat him. Bahamut is actually kind of hard to find in this game. And what's cool is that, like, you find Bahamut in, like, a secret area that has, like, a whole dungeon attached to it. And where you find it is at the very corner of the map. So I, I thought this was, like, the coolest thing when I was a kid. So if you go to the very corner of the map where all four corners meet, you will find right board. Could be around here somewhere. Da, 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 da. Where is it? It's supposed to be right here at the corner. There it is. <laughs> there it is. The Deep Sea Research Center. Let's go. Land. Where the world is this? I'm not really sure, but... I've heard about a mobile island that was used to gather materials from various regions for research. This could be it. I've also heard that the thing was in search of a large draw point somewhere. <sighs> Hang on. And I want to I I redo that. Um, let's see, let, me, let me restart. So if you have... Zell in your party. Zell's kind of a nerd about this kind of about this place, and he can actually tell you a lot about it, which is fun. And I like Zell, so let's get Zell in our party. Zell, my boy. You don't like Zell? I like Zell. I don't know. I always have a na I, I, I always have an affinity for like dumb, energetic characters. <laughs> That's kind of what Zell is. He's just a fun, kind of dumb, energetic guy. All right. Switch. Actually, he is also lowest level right now, which means it's good for him to be in the party. Yeah. All right, Zell, I look forward to you telling me things about the Deep Sea Research Center. Whoosh. I was all confident that I knew exactly where it was at like the corners of the map and I was like, I'm gonna show up. 
This could be super cool for everyone, and then I didn't find it. <laughs> I was sad. Sad. It's like the first time you find uh, the uh, Knights of the Round Island in FS7. Which is really cool. You're like, oh, what is this? I found a thing in the middle of the ocean. Neat. Super neat. Or if you find uh, Kectrot Island in FF7, which is even harder to find, actually. <laughs> what the world is this? Hey, I know this place. No one else out to the rescue again, baby. Ready for the story time squall? Let's hear it. Sure, let's hear it. Okay, here goes. This is, this island's most likely that mobile research facility. Huh? AKA Battleship Island. So, what did they research? Basically, they were trying to develop a draw system like ours. They probably traveled all over the world to gather different energy and materials for their research. Huh. I don't know how the heck it ended up here. I heard they did some hardcore research here. They even used GF for experiments. To science geeks, it was a treasure island. What, you think I'm BSing? No. Maybe I should give this guy more credit. Alright. A little bit of respect for our boy Zell. Super cool. Alright. So this part's kind of weird. So we walk in here. Looks like it's been abandoned for years. What's the big blue thing? Whoa! It's moving! I thought they were researching. Let's check out the core. We might find out more about it. Blue light leads all to death. Turn back. So, you see that effect. That effect goes on and off. If you move while it's going, you have to fight red dragons. I don't want to fight red dragons. That's like red light, green light. He's trying to get to the middle. You have perceived the resonance. I did. It's over there. Suffice it to say, when I was a child, I did not understand what was going on and why I kept getting into fights with ruby dragons in this room. I was like, oh, why are there so many dragons in this room? The encounter level of this place is stupid high. Yeah, it was just me being an idiot. I just didn't get it. So you wish to challenge me? It's not our will to fight. And then we have to fight a thing. Not Bahamut, but another ruby dragon. Hello, Ruby Dragon. What level are you? <laughs> How scary are you, Ruby Dragon? How high level are you? I mean, our boy Squall here is actually level 99, so... Ugh, 63,000 HP? Alright. Oh, that's unfortunate. I did put him to sleep, though. That's something. So the thing about this, this part of the game is that you have to fight a certain number of ruby dragons. Because the entity inside of the uh, containment unit there um, will continue to question you. Hey, Cyber. And, um, you actually can't answer his questions correctly until you... Oh, 181? Uh-oh. That ain't much. Oh, that's unfortunate, too. We might not be ready for Bahamut yet. I thought I was, but this is going very badly. Oh, yeah. Don't go on it. This is not that much damage. Okay, yeah, we're not going to be able to beat this guy. 
They're not gonna be beat this guy. This is stupid. Um. I, just, I can't escape. Uh, but I want to though. I want to though. Can I cast death on you or something? Can I use flare, maybe? Flare duty. Oh, you have flare. You cast meteor on you, I guess. Yeah. Doing such pitifully small amounts of damage. Ugh. I did. Add Don't call it corn fudge, please. <laughs> yes, I added the steam just for you, Cyber. I know you wanted it. Corn fudge. I wasn't paying attention when we cast Flare a minute ago. <laughs> this is probably not worth it. He has like like 70,000 HP. <laughs> and I still have to fight Bahamut afterward. Yeah, I may have to come back for this after a level up. Dang it, I wanted to do this. I wanted to get this done. Be <clears throat> I'll tell you why I wanted to get it done. Bahamut, as a summon, has a special ability called a uh, rare item, which does what it sounds like. Coming out because I just found out my local worm on our kid is closing. Oh no! That's terrible, Cyber. I'm sorry to hear that. I know you were a frequent goer of, uh, of, um, Arcades. That's a bummer, dude. Sorry to hear that. Maybe Diablo is missing. Alright, if Diablos does if Diablos does any damage, we'll keep going. If Diablos does nothing, I'll just reset. <laughs> because I'm not gonna make y'all sit through me tinking away at this thing's stupid amount of health. But probably not even under 50. But don't worry, there are other side quests we can do. Okay, that, that's good. We can we can do that. Okay, we'll just use Diablos then. I'll just rely on my boy Diablos. What do you got? I want to make it progress. Okay, Diablos is gonna help out a lot. The great thing about Diablos, not only not only does he love Squall, he also does 99.99. This is very helpful. How did you find out that it was a closing cyber? Did they have like signs up or something? Or... You have other arcades by you though, right? It's not the only arcade in your area. What is that? There's like a message on the top. I see that? Oh, that's what I'm trying to do. I want to say that, like, when you actually fight um, Bahamut, Bahamut himself is actually easier than these ruby dragons. I don't know. If, I don't know for sure if that's the case, but I have that in my head that, like, 
I had less difficulty with... Uh, oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Um, hang on. I can fix this. With uh, Bahamut than these guys. Ah! How dare! No more Wangan! Oh no! <laughs> That's a tragedy, dude! I'm so sorry! That's awful! Ugh. You know, the other nice thing about Diablos is that you don't have to boost him. You just turn him on back. I can just turn my head and read what you guys are talking about. That's a bummer, dude. Uh, there's nothing quite as disappointing as having like a a store or like a restaurant or something that you really like close down because they they didn't get off business. And you're like, I was giving you business. I'll give you more business. Just stay, stay, dear, please. I don't want to lose you. I definitely know that feeling. It's not fun. Don't use Meteor. Don't do that. Don't use Meteor. Don't kill Squall, please. I need him. I need him alive to use Diablos. <laughs> but I don't need him. I need Diablos. Good name. Yay. Diablos. So if we're not strong enough to do this, we were definitely not strong enough to do the rest of the dungeon here. So we will have to save the remainder of the deep sea research base for another stream. Which is a bit of a bummer. I didn't remember it was this hard, but what are you going to do? I'll just have to grind some more off screen, I guess. But yeah, one of the reasons I want Bahamut is because, like I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I would really like for us to have better weapons. And the only way you can... Oh, he's going to kill everybody again. The only way you can get better weapons is by uh, getting enemy drops. But the only way I'm going to get the right enemy drops is if I have... Um, if I have rare items. So, I really need Bahama. I remember thinking that this, this particular dragon's design is kind of odd. Because he's like... His, his snoot is very short. Oh. My, my gun blade was going directly through Zell's head. Like, he's got, like, these big horns, but a little tiny snoot. A very small snoot. Otherwise, looks very much like a standard dragon. The, the re like, the red dragon probably looks the most like a standard western dragon. This game. As compared to the blue dragon, which is, like, a weird humanoid dragon, and then the hexa dragon, which is, like, a bug dragon, and the grindles, which are, like, little... Troll dragon. Are you dead yet? Nope. Still going. Still alive. Are you ready for more? What about more Diablos? You know what the sad thing is, too? I'm pretty sure, at a minimum, you have to fight two ruby dragons to get through this part before you can fight Bahamut. So, 
Get ready to see a lot of Diablos. You know, and I don't I don't come from this game very often. But one of the cool things that exists in the game Chrono Cross for the PlayStation uh, would actually help resolve the situation I'm having right now where you know two of my characters have fire equipped to their weapons so they use absorbing them. In Chrono Cross, I think just about every fight, even boss fights, you can run away from if you need to like fix something. It's cool. One of the things I really liked about that game. One of the only things I reflect about that game. <laughs> um, I gotta fight another one. Uh, never. Gotta fight again. Couldn't go on the menu. So get ready for a lot of Diablos again. He's back. He's Diablosier than ever. Oh no, we're back attacked. No! Like basically, the idea is that we have this conversation with the blue light, and we, we, we have to, like, impress it enough that it's willing to fight us. Because, as you might have guessed, the blue light's behind it. Um, and so, I need that. Draw magic when I am <laughs> But what's really tricky about it is that um his last question has a hidden answer. It's really mean. Like four dragons. Rrr. Such a useful ability to recover. It's just a full heal that you can do as much as you want. Very helpful. More Diablos. But yeah, I think the next question is the one that has the hidden answer. And if you don't know about that, you'll be stuck at this point for quite a while. It's not terribly nice. That's where it's but you know, they can do what they can do. The square slot. Square slot. Actually, speaking of Square Soft, is anybody excited about the impending um, FF7 remake or rebirth coming out soon? I'm excited to see it. Oh, don't breath. Oh, don't breath. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Does anybody have... Uh-oh. That'd be really bad. If nobody has G-Returner... that Zell has items. Zell, do you have items? Oh, he doesn't! Oh, no. I don't think I can win at this point. Restart. Lame! <sighs> it's so lame. I mean, I couldn't do anything without the elbows.
Well, it's not another reboot. It's the second chapter of the previous reboot. So it's it's more FF7 remake. Like FF7 remake ended when they left Midgar. Um, and I think this next one's supposed to cover like from Midgar to like the end of the first disc in the original. So that's like a huge swath of time. Um, I really don't know how they're going to do that, but we'll see. But I never finished the first FF7 re remake. I got to like the very end and then just didn't, didn't beat it. I'm trying to decide if I want to try that again. I mean, if I set us up right, we might be okay. Let's try one more time. Let's try again. Yep. But this time, I will actually junction for the battle. My magic. We'll do... What the fuck? So now we'll absorb Fyraga and attack with Blizzaga, which I think should be more effective. So now we should attack with ice and defend against fire. Um, I don't know if I'd like the motorcycle stages over there. So that, I didn't get to the motorcycle stages. I got to the Shinra Tower, is as far as I got. As for the game, I would say yes. If you like Final Fantasy VII, it's worth it to play the remake. There's one thing that prevents me from going back and finishing it. But that's mostly on me. That's not really the game's fault. Namely, there is a part where um, uh, you have to... Um, it's sort of like a... It's like a quick time event part. And I don't normally have an issue with quick time events. But, like... It's so frustrating. And it's frustrating because... It, it's frustrating for me because what it involves is, uh, you know what, I'm going to, there, but there's a small chance that this will work. I'm going to put death on the weapon. Maybe I'll accidentally kill Um, it's frustrating for me because without trying to give too much away, it's at a part where you're trying to impress one of your, uh, allies, and when you mess it up, the, the game designers intentionally put in a scene where, like, your friend is embarrassed to be, to be seen in public with you. And it just makes you feel bad. <laughs> at least it makes me feel bad. I'm like, I'm so sorry that I'm terrible at, at uh, QTEs. Please don't feel ashamed of me. And, like, I, I did that same sequence over and over and over and over again. And I did eventually get it right. But it took a long time, and by the time I was finished, I was well, pretty well done with the game. I was, like, not happy with it anymore. So, as long as that kind of thing doesn't bother you, as long as you're not going to get upset about, you know, one of your party members being ashamed of you, then, yeah, it's a fantastic game. Like, the rest of the game is phenomenal. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's like, uh, you, you know, I'll, t I'll tell you what it is. The thing that most impressed me about the game was how authentic it felt to the original game. Because, like, when I heard that they were going to be remaking FF7, I thought, okay, it's going to be a mess. You know, it's going to be completely different from the original. It's going to be, you know, a, a poor facsimile of the original. 
not at all. It's actually really good. Um, it's it's very faithful to the original. The things that were added um, fit in the in the game's universe and were like fun. Like it's 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 good. I would say go play it if you liked FF Seven. Um, just know that there's one part that I'm gonna hate. <laughs> there's one part I hate, so you might also hate it. I don't know. But yeah, it was really good. I think one of my favorite things about it is how much more charming they made uh, Barrett. Like, I already liked Barrett. Barrett's one of my favorite characters in FF7. But they made Barrett even better. Like, Barrett was always already good. Now he's even better. Love Barrett. Barrett's the best. He's my boy. And they made Cloud less insufferable, which was nice. <laughs> yeah, I'd take a play it. I mean, if nothing else, just play for like a little while and see if you like it. Now, I have heard one of the things that stopped me at the end of the game was I was playing the game alongside a friend and he got a little ahead of me and I was taught, I was like raving about her. Yeah, raving, raving is a good one. I was raving about it. I was like, oh, it's so authentic, and I love how it feels just like the original, and blah, 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 blah. And he said, well, you're not going to like the ending. And I was like, oh. And that alone, that, like, kind of statement of doom that I'm not going to enjoy the ending was enough to just make me stop playing. I was like, but I like it. I don't want it to be bad at the end. And so I just never finished it. I know, it's silly and pathetic, but hey, what can I say? That's that's actually what caused me to stop playing. Was a friend of mine was just like, it's it, the ending's bad. I was like, oh, okay. Well. I don't know how it's bad. I don't know how it's different. I don't know anything about what he was talking about because he didn't elaborate. Um, but that one statement was kind of enough. I was like, oh, well, maybe I don't want to play anymore. So I guess what I would say, <laughs> that's my recommendation. If you like the original FF7, play at least up to the Shinra Tower. As for the ending, I don't know. Apparently it's not good, but up to that point, real good. Honestly, one of the things that I think they did the best in the game was, like, I'm just talking about FF7 now. Um, because, like, I remember when I first heard that they were going to be remaking FF7 and they were going to make a full size, like, PlayStation 4 game out of just Midgar, which, if you play the original game, is only like five hours worth of content. It's a really, it's a very small, like, it's iconic, but it's a very small part of the game. And I was like, this is going to be the most, like, bloated, slow-paced, FMV-filled nonsense you're ever going to see. But what they did is they made... They made the city of Midgar more believable. Like, again, if you've played the original game, you know that, like... Hang on, let me save before I take off. Um, you know that the original Midgar was kind of like... Like, there were people living in, like tubes and, like, boxes and stuff. It was really run down. Well, in the remake, they come across, like, the, the towns in Midgar come across more like shanty towns. Like, you can see that people live there. It's not just, like, a pile of junk that you're supposed to think that people live in. It actually is, like, a place people could live. And that's cool. I like that, actually. That that makes everything more believable. It makes the environment and the setting a lot more reasonable. They also spend a lot more time with the other members of Avalanche. I mean, again, in the original game, you only got to know them for like five hours before tragedy struck. But in this, they're, they're there for the whole game. So you really get to know Jesse, Beg Jesse Biggs, and Wedge. Wedge. And that's cool. 
All right, Zell, tell me again. Yep. No at all, Zell. Talk. 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 <laughs> I love how you can see the Ragnarok in the background. It looks so, like, dramatic with its dragon face. All right. If we're lucky, this will go better. Oh, doggone it, I moved. Uh, I, th I thought you could move when it was fading. Ugh. Oh, hey, an anacondor. That's actually useful. I need one of those. <gasps> Do you have death spells? Wait. Well, I mean, Zell's dead, but... If he drops dragon skin, we might have to. I might end the stream and just grind here a little bit because. <gasps> dragon skin! I needed that though. Okay. Uh. Never mind. <laughs> I need a dragon skin. That's very important. I've been I've been trying to get dragon. That's one of the things that I, I mentioned earlier. I was trying to like grind for items. That's one of the ones I needed. Um, so hang on for a sec. We're gonna just fly right back to Timber real quick. Real quick, like. Timber! Away! This is a feature that they don't really advertise, but it's really useful. Basically, the idea is if you, if you just choose a location on the map, the Ragnarok will just fly there on its own for you. I'm not doing any of this. It's just flying on its own. It's really helpful if you, like, get lost and can't find a city. So, yeah. It's a bit of a shame because you can't choose, like, places that aren't cities, but... If you need to get back to a specific city, it's a very easy thing to do. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hey, there's a Tim Romaniacs up here. Grab that. Nice. I actually think that, um... Oh, yeah. Thank you for your business. Um, I actually think Timber is one of my favorite, favorite, uh, cities in this game. I like the music. I kind of like the vibe of it. It's all very, like, blue and green. It's like the colors are very muted and enjoyable. I appreciate that. Anyways. 
Yeah! I can make Zell's final weapon because I got that dragon skin. I need more dragon skin. So you see these, those energy crystals? Those are the things that prevent you from getting some of the better weapons. They're hard to come by. And many of the ultimate weapons require them. Almost all of the ultimate weapons require them. <laughs> I want the lion heart. It's even worse for him because you see pulse ammo down there. Pulse ammo is made out of um, energy crystals. So you got to get the energy crystals, then you have to make it into pulse ammo. It sucks. But Irvin fi or Zell finally got a better weapon. Hooray! Can y'all hear me eating gumdrops? I'm sorry if you can. <laughs> I finished off my tea and I decided I wanted something sugary, so. They have gumdrops here. They're very dangerous to have sitting next to me when I'm while I'm streaming. I will start munching. Oh. Oh god. I really want to beat Bahamut. I want to beat Bahamut this stream if I can. So that I can, you know, grind for stuff without... with Bahamut. I actually think I'm going to stream for a while longer. I'll keep going for a bit. Just because I know that this is... Probably side quest streams aren't everyone's favorite, so I don't want to have too many in a row, you know? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna land. Come on. Let me land. Come on. Land. Land on the thing. What's the problem here? Land on it. Land. gumdrops I feel as though I only ever encounter gumdrops as what they call spice drops which are the ones that are flavored like spices like mint and cinnamon and stuff like that um I feel like when I was younger though they they used to have ones that weren't spice drops I kind of miss those because with the spice drops ones, like, if you're making, like, a gingerbread house or something, you have to contend with the fact that all of, like, the the white ones and the green ones are going to be, like, mint flavored. Which may not be what you're looking for. Hey, you want to give me some more dragon skin? That'd be awesome. Yeah! I like that little, like, open his mouth moment where he's like, Hello! I am the snake. Man, bump. More dragon skin, please. I gotta put these away. I'm eating too many. Yeah! More dragon skin! Yes! Also have instead? Oh, I got it on. Red light. Green light. Not our will to fight. Alright, if we're lucky, this will do more damage. Come on! Yeah, okay, that's much better. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, I crossed the streams with my gumdrops. Oh. This is the danger of spice drops. I ate a, a, a peppermint with something decidedly not peppermint. I wish I could set this up to go to like keep doing the same patterns while I went and did something else because I kind of want to go get a drink now. Now that I've decided I'm going to stick, stick around here for a little bit, I want to go grab a drink. Get him! More Diablos. Meteor! Do the media. Do the media. There's a reference to both the hustle and a statement from Final Fantasy IV. Her character said, instead of cast meteor or cast the meteor spell, they said, do the media. <laughs> which sounds like a dance. Plus, to make matters more silly, um, their casting pose was to raise their arms over their head. So he's like, do the media, bam! He raises his arms over his head, it's very silly. I don't know that there's anything I can actually do to mitigate this breath attack. It's unfortunate because now Diablo's is dead. As is everyone else. But, yeah. Like, the, the breath attack isn't a... It's not a magic spell, and it's not a physical attack. It's something else, so... I don't really think there's anything I can do to make it easier on myself. Oh no, can you not use G-Returners in battle? This is probably not worth it. I'll just keep fighting until he, he runs out of HP and then we will on. We'll have to do this another stream. 
sucks. I'm not happy about that, but... Renzo Kuken. Renzo Kuken. Renzo Kuken. I beat him. Neat. Well, I can't get into the menu, though. Which means Diablos is still going to be dead. Oh. All right, well... I still don't really think feel like I was doing very well on that, so is there like an M in the um Ragnarok? Oh if there's a place to heal in the Ragnarok, I don't remember. Let me see, go down. Let me see if there's a place. Are you over here, maybe? You rest here. You're looking at another Final Fantasy. You could, in FF5, you could like sleep on the submarine, but I guess you can't do that here. That's a fortune. Oh well. well. Hang on, what, what about this room? It's over here. Oh. That's not helpful. Alright, well. Man, I'm so disappointed about the Bahamut thing. I really wanted to finish it. Um. During this stream. And again, I don't think Bahamut himself is as dangerous as the dragons that guard him. There's a, um, we could try and find Poo Poo. That's a thing I could do. The Poo Poo is an alien, a little blue alien. And if you find him, you can then fight him. find it. I think I remember where to find it. At least I know a couple of the places. Like you may remember in an earlier stream, I encountered like a uh, what looked like a spaceship stealing an object. That was Poo Poo. You gotta find, you gotta see him stealing things and then you get to fight him. But you gotta see him stealing stuff first. Oh, real quick. Heal myself up. You know how it is. Healing song! I'm still so disappointed about the Hamet. I'll have to grind some more off stream. Get stronger again. Ah, oh, the game knows I lost. Ah, oh, the game is like, what's that? You're not, 
You didn't manage to beat, uh... You didn't manage to beat Bahamut? Well, looks like your rank is going down. I'm like, no, my rank. Ooh. It's very sad. Whatever, money's not really that important in this game. It's <laughs> the funny thing about this game. Money's really not that important in it. Um, all right, let's see. Sort. Um, where is the occult fantasy? Yeah, here we go. Okay. That's not it. How do you find out about the poo poo? Well, you know what? I've got a strategy guide here. I'm sure that there's actually a way to do it in game, but you know what? We're just gonna cheat. <laughs> We're just gonna cheat and look it up. Because, you know, I just. I don't know. I, I still feel bad that we lost to Bahamut, so I might as well try to uh, get something useful. <laughs> I had beaten that second red dragon, we would have gotten to fight uh, Bahamut. Frickin' lame. I'm disappointed. This, oh, here we go. Um, Windhill Bluffs. That's the one we already saw. Mandy Beach. Uh, Kashkabal Desert. And Heath Peninsula. Again, I thought that was told to you. Let's see if it says that it was told to you. Um, eh. Apparently I also need five elixirs. Do I have five elixirs? I have one elixir. Okay, I need five elixirs. Travesty! Oy vey! Um... Does anyone sell elixirs? Do you sell elixirs? No. Um... Anybody sell I don't think any... I don't... If... If, if Esthar's not selling it, I doubt anywhere else will sell it. Oh, this sucks. What a travesty. So we can't do poo-poo either. Because I need to have five elixirs. And I don't have five elixirs. But one elixirs. It's not the same amount. Either. Um. We're not gonna do that. Crap. I'm very sad. I'm sad at the moment because I wanted to accomplish things and now I'm not being able to accomplish them. Uh, we can try and do the Chocobo Forest. Let's try and do the Chocobo Forests. That's something, right? I'm all pouty. I'm sorry. That's very frustrating. I thought I was gonna be able to get all this done. One stream. Not so. 
say? Do I need I need to put it in counter encounter none on? Not you. We can go ahead and at least see all of the uh, events and not actually fight him. That's something we can do. So Mandy Beach, south of Timber. Which is I think that one over there. Are you Mandy Beach? Yeah, big sad times. Are you Mandy Beach? I was Nan Chuck it. That's not what I did. I need Mandy Beach. <laughs> South Timber. What they said. Maybe that beach. Beach. There's a Lanker Plains. Mandy Beach. Lanker Plains. Mandy Beach. Lanker Plains. All right, where's Mandy Beach? Uh, maybe it's not south, but east of Timber. There's a beach. <laughs> Is this Mandy Beach? Are you Mandy Beach? Mandy Beach? Mandy Beach. Okay. East of Timber. Aha! Here we go. Get ready for our first sighting. Whoa, it's stealing an Easter Island head. Whoa! Neat. Next, we must go to Kashkabal Desert, which is in the south. I actually passed by it when we were near the uh, Cactuar, Cactuar Island, but uh, did not stop. This is the Kashkabal Desert. Right. Land, please. Land. Thank you. There we go. What's this? It's stealing a pyramid. Ooh. So the four things it steals is a pyramid, a um, Easter Island head, a cow. And a crop circle. I think. I think. I think a crop circle. The fourth one. And then you can fight it. We're not going to actually fight it, but we can do the four events. So when I have five elixirs, I can then fight it. Trying to think of what else I can do before we before we quit. Like I'm, I'm again, I'm frustrated that we can't do bomb it, but there must be other things we can do. Hmm. Where is that? That's the LB Peninsula. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the. They expanded on the cool world map stuff in FF9, too. FF9 is some cool world map stuff you can do. I think this is it. This is... Yeah, the Heath Peninsula. Alright. So there should be... Another poopoo out here somewhere. Where is the poopoo? 
eat the poo poo. Show me the poo poo. Should be around here somewhere. Did I already get this one? I don't remember getting it. No, well, he's not showing up. Huh. That would suggest that I've already done this, but I don't remember doing so. Well, suffice it to say, it's more of the same. A little, a little UFO flies by and then it steals like an object. Except in this instance, the object is like a weird circular pattern thing. All right, so we're done with poo poo. Um, All right, let's do the Mordred Plains. I was lying earlier. I know where it is. <laughs> I know where the Mordred Plains is. It's right over here. Oh, we were going to do Chocobos. Hey, right, Chocobos. Um, can we do Chocobos first? I might be able to do Chocobos first. In order to do Chocobos, I need a Chocobo that I can ride over to the Chocobo Forest. Strangely enough, um, I need to find a chocobo. Well, okay, here we are. This is the Mordred Plains. <laughs> See, here we go. There are many multicolored rocks with faces all over the place. Blue faced rock whispers, I don't know where the treasure is. So, this is like a logic game. You're supposed to keep walking around and talking to the, the, the rocks. And they give you hints. <clears throat> and so you got to find... Yeah. I think Blackfaced is the liar. Um, I think the white-faced one is the one that... No, the red-faced one is the one that tells you the truth. To the south. The south. To the west. The west. It's north. Does the white one tell the truth, too? It's west. Too far. South. West. Let me, let me go walk over here to the middle of the, the area. Alright, I'm here now. White face tells you Coley it's west. I thought you could lock the screen the, the thing somehow. Or I remember the first time I tried this, I thought it was such a cool idea of like this, um, this thing where you have to like kind of just 
keep clicking on the on the buttons and like like try to figure it out based on like all of these uh Oh wait, no, the red one's a liar. That's right. The red one's a liar. West. I think the white one's the only one that tells you the truth. So you can do what like the the black one talks nonsense. The blue one just says the same things. The white one tells you the truth, and the red one tells you the opposite. Yeah. West. North. Shut up, Blackface Rock. West. Ugh. Come on. like eventually the uh eventually the red one says the treasure's not here and that's when you know you found it oh boy uh, it's supposed to be around here somewhere shut up black rock here somewhere this is definitely something I would not have figured out without um, a guide I actually found this one out through the guide um, because it's just so weird and obscure you know shut up blackface rock is so inconvenient Yeah, here we go. The treasure's not here. You search again. There's the treasure. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit of a nuisance to get that. But it's a really good treasure. Um, it's a three stars, which I believe teaches... Um, I was going to say a Pokemon. Teaches your uh, GFs... Yeah, expend times three one ability, which allows you to... Um, to use a triple spell and only expend one magic spell. It's really helpful if you're using a lot of magic. All right, that's another side quest done. Um, that may be all we can do tonight, which is regrettable. Like You can hear it in my voice. I'm disappointed. Oh, chocobos. We might be able to do chocobos. Let's see if we can end off on a positive and do the chocobo missions. Um... Because I believe there's only one Chocobo Forest I haven't been to. Um, it's in Centra, I think. So let's go check that out. If I can do the Chocobo stuff, that would be a good way to end it. And I guess before the next time I stream this, I'll just try to... Um, I'll keep trying to beef up my parties. My parties. My party. And um, get us strong enough to take on Bahamut. And then... 
then I guess we'll continue with the game and it will be no problem <laughs> because we will have beaten all of the scariest monsters in the game already. Um, all right, so which of these Chocobo Force have I already done? I'm guessing I've probably done this one. But let's find out. Yeah, we did this one. Nope. Oh. Alright, Sailor. <laughs> Kid's like, wait a minute. I thought you were gonna hang out and be a friend. Nope. I'm not your friend, kid. Alright, so that one's done. Um You know what? I've, I've used the strategy guide tonight. I will continue to use the strategy guide. Come here, strategy guide. Tell me where the juggle before us are. Because I don't remember. may actually already be ready to do the uh, Chocobo stuff. Um, I think I've actually already done all six of them. We just need to actually get to the Chocobo Forest. Which means we will need a Chocobo. As you might expect, you need a Chocobo to get to the Chocobo Forest. Let's see. I need one that's on the mainland. Um, should be around here somewhere. Do is it? There's a chocobo force around here somewhere. Where is it? Is this it? Or is this it? That kind of looks like a chocobo force. Let's find out. Are you a chocobo? No, it's just a weird shaped forest. Never mind. Maybe a garden. Oh, here we go. Here's a joke. Of course. Is that the go? Just get me a chocobo. I've already... Oh. Alright, um, we are actually going to have to do this. Goes in her. Hello.
There we go. Hello, Chocobo. Now I gotta get over to the Grandidi Forest. Should be able to get there from here. Question of how. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. It took me a while to notice that you can walk through that water. Sure doesn't look like you should be able to, but you can. There you go. Now we will go to the Chocobo Holy Ground. Which should be around here somewhere. Where is it? <laughs> where is the Chocobo Holy Ground? It's around here somewhere. Uh, where is it? Uh, um, Choco Holy Ground? Maybe. I think it's in the north. Da -da 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 -da. Nope, not that. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba Nope. I always like the Grandini Forest. I think it's pretty cool. Just this gigantic forest in the north. There we go. Made it. All right. Hello. Hey, Joko boy. What are you doing here? Huh? I see you already found this forest. Took me three long years. This is the Chocobo's holy ground. Can't do business here. Hello, Chocobo. Wait a minute. I was supposed to be able to do a thing here. I guess I haven't done all the Chogo for us then. Oh, here we go. Y yeah? Oh, do I have to do it all in one sitting? Oh. <laughs> what do you get out of this? What's the reward for this? I don't know that I care, honestly. Um, Apparently there are hidden items I could have found. Eh, whatever. I'll show it off <laughs> next time. I'm so defeated. I feel so defeated. This, 
I, I was so excited about the, doing doing all kinds of side quests for this stream, and then just freaking nothing, man. Well, I mean, I got, we got things done. I'm just, I'm just disappointed about Bahamut, really. But I think we'll call it there. It's a choco, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. I um, I don't want to, I don't want to bother with doing all the uh, all the puzzles again, because it looks like that's what you have to do. Is you have to do all of them in one sitting. And then you come here, and there's like a little scene involving Choco Boy, and you get a card for it. You just get a you get a playing card. So we'll probably show it off eventually, but probably not tonight because again, I'm Downy Frowny. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for putting up with my pouting. I appreciate that. What, wait, do I have the pouting uh, emote? I think I do. Do I have the pout emote? Yeah, here we go. Pout, pout, pout. <laughs> I, made a, I made a new, like, emote for when I'm pouty. <laughs> um, anyway, that'll be all for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I, I feel fine. Thank you, Cyber. Um, and, uh, yeah, next time we'll probably... Next time we'll probably be back on um, Everywhere Road Trip, because, again, we're almost at the end of it, and it'll be good to finish it. So that'll be for next time. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed some some side quests some me griping, and a whole lot of cactus. <laughs> Hi, I'm the Boy Chicken. This has been Final Fantasy VIII, and thank you for stopping by. <laughs>